my job right, nobody knows I exist. Like the sound tech at a concert. Clark County engineer Rob Klug is talking about new adaptive traffic signals, all networked together in Salmon Creek, Philida, and Hazeldale. We want people to have a smooth transition through as best as possible. While traditional signals run on preset timers, adaptive signal technology does pretty much what its name implies, with cameras like you see here. They monitor the flow of all the cars and bicycles through an intersection. As we're putting in an adaptive system that monitors every cycle, how much time is needed for each left turn and through movement, and how much time is needed for each of the signals. When the cameras are networked together, they talk to a server and adjustments get made on all signals as needed. ITS, Intelligent Transportation Systems, as they're known, are not new. This type of adaptive signal has been in use for about two decades. But Clark County hopes to be one of the first local agencies in the area to link all of them in one responsive network. We'll be able to have special timing plans in place so that if an incident occurs on I-5 and the traffic is moving onto the county system, we'll be able to better operate the traffic signals automatically. The latest installations are occurring this week along Northeast 134th and 139th streets. The big picture is about saving drivers time and money. We still will have to build capital projects because of congestion will increase, but if we can manage that traffic better, then we're gonna turn around and make it so that we can put those projects off for five or 10 years. The $740,000 price tag for the new installations comes primarily from a federal program. Now Clark County will need additional grants to finish the three major corridors in that smart network, which means they're still a couple of years away from completion. Chris McGinnis, KGW News.